Hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to introduce the race condition issue. So race condition is an old issue. You can find it in all, you know, programming languages that support, you know, multi-trading. And uh, that includes Java, Golang, um, any language that basically you have like multi-trading. So Rust, um, anywhere. So there are some safe, you know, packages uh, in different languages that try to prevent this issue but this is one of the trickiest issue in exploitation because it's difficult usually to detect that um, while you're doing any static analysis and so on this problem shows you know usually during runtime during the execution time and can cause various problems such as you know unauthorized you know access dos denial of service and uh, permission escalation and all kind of different things and the issue is is this is really kind of runtime problem so here on this figure you can see one of the you know one simple example here so just imagine you have uh, you know multiple threads let's say thread a and thread b and both try to access you know a specific you know uh, memory slot i.e a variable let's say just imagine this is like an integer and uh, one thread try to read this you know variable another thread at the same time try to write something on that so <clears throat> let's say the default value of this you know memory slot is 17 the another you know thread add you know increment that to 18 and uh, but you know your program state here is gonna be kind of confusing and uh, uh, vague because um, at this 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 might be 17 at the time of execution time or it might be 18 and this problem actually is called race condition and uh, it will be actually resolved if, if this memory slots you know become read only because then the other thread cannot manipulate the value of that but this is just a simple example we, we might have this in very different you know condition and situation so the point here is in language like Go, um, each function actually acts like the uh, thread. So that's why we call them Go routines. When you invoke a function, this function becomes a thread, a Go thread. And uh, therefore, you know, race condition issue exists in Golang. So now I'm going to show you one, you know, example in Golang, how we can have, you know, uh, race condition issue and uh, then i will show you how we can detect you know this problem so okay so let's get started all right so here is one example for you guys we have two memory slots you know um, namely int variable which is in, in an integer another integer is called ideal uh, value and we have two, you know, routines, and as I told you, they act, you know, in a multi-thread way. This is due to, you know, performance improvement in Golang. Um, because Golang needs to, you know, provide very good performance. Therefore, it, you know, put these store procedures or routines or functions into multiple thread. So here, mem reader or memory reader. So it reads the memory uh, here, and then, you know, we have, um, it adds, you know, something under um, certain condition here to the ideal value and then here we have mem writer that add you know increment basically uh, this integer right so here is the logic when you write the code and execute the code this is the logic this is what you expect to see you know as outcome so outcome would be first reader so it reads here and um, what we get is um, zero it doesn't really you know affect in uh, variable that's right and then we go to writer and writer actually increment that so it should be one is that correct so it needs to be one when we um, increment that and then when we print something here maybe i cannot just remove here when we print that we expect to see um, you know expect to see one okay because it's zero here and then one increment that and then it should be one right but let's see what happened i go here and i run go run and run, go 
I see zero. Is that correct? And once again, I see zero, but it should be one. So why this happened? Because of the race condition problem here. So here is another example. So um, we have one variable x and then we have a function and this function increment that. So x should be one at the end of the function. Uh, and then we print this one and we expect to see one, right? But uh, let's see what we get here. So um, we get zero again. Why? Because we have two, you know, go routines or two threads here. First one, this one, and another one, print line. This function itself becomes a thread at runtime. And, um, you know, because this one also tried to read the memory slot before the increment, you know, increment uh, operation happens, uh, it reads the memory and print that. And that caused, you know, this subtle, you know, issue, which is called race condition. So how we can detect that, especially when we have, you know, a larger scale project with, you know, thousands of lines and multiple, you know, modules. So in this case, it's easy to, you know, inspect this issue by reading the code, but um, it can be quite actually sophisticated when you have an industrial larger scale project. One easy way is to take advantage of, you know, an internal tool, uh, you know, which is embedded to the uh, Golang compiler. So I will show you how we can do this in your CLI. Um, when you write like go run, there is an, you know, further switch it's called race, which stands for race, uh, con race condition detection um, parameter and then the name file so the name of files here would be like example go so if I scroll up here it tells me hey there is a warning it gives me a warning and this is the memory slot and the routine 7 you know line 7 uh, function the reason why you see func1 because of this is a comes after optimizations and um, that actually caused that. So if you just simply use this um, switch, you can actually detect, you know, the issues in your code, and yeah, easily you can prevent that.